What is up you guys? Thank you for stopping by for this video. Today I am going to be sharing with you another furniture transformation. I am taking this coat rack, like little cubby um, furniture piece that we have in our dining room and I am going to be painting it. This really is the only black piece of furniture or decor that we have in this room so it really never went well with this room so I'm really excited to get to painting this I hope that you guys enjoy this transformation and let's get started of course I am removing everything from the piece and then I'm going to be wiping it down so it's nice and clean I am using this Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover. The color is gloss white. Here is the paintbrush that I will be using. I am also going to be using some paint towels to clean up any mess. And then I am using this tiny little Crayola paintbrush just to get like the fine details. So I did not decide to sand this. I have yet to sand any type of furniture piece yet. I know that once I start painting our kitchen cabinets, I will definitely need to sand, but I feel like for the furniture pieces that don't get touched or used too frequently, um, sanding isn't a big must. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I haven't had any issues with not sanding the few pieces that I've painted in the house so far. So as you can see here, I tried to paint this coat rack without taking the little hooks and the knobs off, which proved to be a lot more difficult um, going this route. But here you can see the first layer of paint is on. There is a lot of streakiness. Um, it definitely needs that second coat to get that full coverage. So here's where I began using the little tiny Crayola paintbrush. I wanted to be as precise as possible. When Matt was filming me do this, he kind of realized that these are just like little screw on and off knobs, which I did not realize before starting this project. I thought this whole coat rack would have to come down and everything would have to kind of get disassembled, which I thought would take a lot longer. But taking the little hooks off was a lot easier than I had originally thought. Thank you to Matt for pointing that out. And so we removed the ones that we could and this turned out to be so much easier for me. Okay, so I added a second layer of paint to this first cubby. And here you can see the difference between the first layer on the left and then the second layer on the right. It is a huge difference. It's definitely worth taking the time to add a second coat. Now I am screwing the little hooks back on and this just needs to dry. I really like it so far and I'm really excited to add finishing touches. So that is about all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will be getting started with my Decorate With Me for the Summer series again starting tomorrow. I did get distracted painting this while I was in the midst of decorating the dining room. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. If you are not subscribed yet to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks again, guys. Bye.